What's up everyone? So a friend of mine gave me the speaker and I thought to myself, I got it for free. Why not see if I can build a box for this for free? So today we're gonna look around the house and see how we can build a box for this without spending a single penny. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, so the first thing we need to do is see how many ohms the speaker is because if it's eight ohms, then it's gonna be hard for me to add a tweeter to this setup. But if it's four ohms, I can, you know, try and see if I can find a four ohm Twitter somewhere, but let's see. So to do it, you just get a multimeter, you put the multimeter to resistance. The reading is about seven, which which is basically, uh, basically that means it's an eight ohm speaker. So we're just gonna hook this one up directly and then we'll see how it sounds. All right, so we're gonna go look around the house and see if I have any wood outside and yeah. All right, so there's dogs walking around the house. And this is the piece of wood I found. So we're gonna go ahead and use this piece of wood. And of course, saw, measuring tape, pencil. These are all laying around the house. Like I said, not a single penny is gonna be spent. So let's go ahead and put this on the tree trunk. Hello. All right, so we're gonna make a perfect square. So it's 24 inches. So we're gonna make it 24 by 24. And hopefully that's enough. Got a little uh, person right here standing on top. Everything here is ghetto. So let's see. Alright, we got our first piece of wood right there. Alright, so we're gonna use some screws I found in my cabinet in the back to screw this in. Now one problem we're gonna run into is I only have four pieces and we need six. So this box is gonna become even more ghetto because we're gonna use some of this. Probably use that for the base. That would be like the base and then for the front panel. I'll see what I got, but yeah, it's not going to turn out as nice as I was hoping it, but we'll see. Let's see what we got. Start by drilling into this a little bit right here. All right, so you can't really see it, but I got the circle of the hole speaker out there. So we're just going to go ahead and cut the hole now, see if this works. All right, so the box is coming out pretty nicely. Unfortunately, gonna have lots of air gaps there but don't worry I found this in the shed so we'll use this to fill up any gaps and see if that helps but yeah we're gonna test it out before you fill it up though to make sure it even sounds good this box is pretty big so it's probably gonna be overkill so next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is this the original wood that I made is good however the plywood is not as good so we're gonna brace the plywood with this so I'm going to go ahead and make a brace like that. I'm just going to put it here in the middle here and then one over there. We'll make a little brace. All right, so the brace is installed. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the little ceiling and just seal along everywhere along the walls. And then this one's going to require a lot. But I'm going to nail this in first. All right, so as you can see, I have pretty much foamed up all the edges and stuff. So hopefully there's no air leaks. And of course the outside's a little bit sealed up as well. So let's install the speaker and see how it sounds now. All right, so I found this sitting outside and uh, this will actually look way better. So I'm gonna cut this right here. Um, it's a little too, um, it's not wide enough, but we'll see what to do with that in a bit. All right, so. The foam is dried up, but basically I'm just gonna tear apart this front panel and then we're gonna put this one on top. Gotta drill a hole in there still. And then yeah, hopefully this time, uh, and not only will it look nicer, but hopefully we can close this little gap here too and these gaps, we'll see. All right, so I also found this wood that was basically gonna be thrown away. So we're gonna make the cabinet look really nice. I'm just gonna make a whole new box actually, now that we have enough wood here. And it's gonna be a lot smaller. So let's start cutting this stuff up. All right, so next we're just gonna go ahead and clean these with an IPA wipe. Hopefully it cleans up nicely and it does, very nice. All right, so I went ahead and made a circle here, kind of used the old piece as a guide. So next we're just gonna go ahead and cut this. All right, so the box is coming up pretty nicely actually, but I did run into an issue here. So my saw died and I ended up using 
a drill and just drilled a bunch of holes here using this and it looks like it worked so i'm gonna smooth those out though with a regular saw all right so here's how the product looks like i'm about to explain in a second why we ended up not going this route all right so unfortunately i had to remove the speaker from this new box because it sounds not that good in this box it sounds much better so to finalize the box we just put a little bit of sealant all around the cracks and yeah that's about it I did went ahead and get my other receiver out because this one actually allows you to change the bass and stuff on it. That one does not, but we'll see which one sounds better. Anyways, yeah, that's about it. So we're pretty much done building the Ghetto with subwoofer of 2022. All right, so there we had it. We built the subwoofer, or I guess woofer, because it's not really a subwoofer. Um, my dogs are barking in the back. But yeah, material cost for me was $0. I was able to borrow some of this material from other people. The wood was again just chilling at the house. This wood was nice looking, but again, it didn't sound good at all. It sounds so much better in the big box. That box is eight cubic um, cubic squared, cubic feet squared, inches squared. I forgot the measurement. I'll put it in the description. This one was around three point one, so that one has a lot more, you know, displacement than this one. So it makes sense that it sounds better, especially you know because this receiver is probably like what fifty watts. Anyways. Yeah, so that's going to be my gym speaker slash woofer for now. And hopefully when those clips RP160Ms go on sale, we'll get those up here. Can't tell the wife about that just yet. Alright, see you on the next one.